And and in terms of vision, just pin her when she comes in. Yes. Can you stop the recording? Just, I don't think it's recording that. It. Oh, wait, yes. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. No, recording. Oh, that's the recording. Yeah, there's a pause button. You can probably stop it up up in the left, upper left, down there. Um, welcome to the regular meeting, October 23rd, 2023, of the Board of Directors of Community Television of Santa Cruz County. I call it to order and have the acting deputy secretary call the roll. Chair Lanier? Here. Maitreya Mazayars? Here. Pete Gunter here. Janice O'Driscoll? Here. Matilda Rand? Here. Tom Mannheim? Here. David Warren? Here. Joe Hall? Here. Elizabeth Shaw? Is she here by Zoom at all? Not by Zoom, not yet. We do expect her, but we think. Hopefully okay. She's not out front. Yeah, I don't think she is. Oral communications, any person may address the board during its oral communications period. All oral communications must be directed to an item not listed on today's consent or regular agenda and must be within the jurisdiction of the board. Oral communications being none. Consideration of late additions to the agenda addition and deletions to the consent and regular agendas. Being none, we will move on to the consent agenda. Three items, approved meeting agenda, the day's meeting, approve board meeting minutes of September 25, 2023, and accept the August and September financial reports. Any comments or questions on any of those? I have no questions about the financial reports. Right. <laughs> we, have approval. we have a motion on the floor to move approval. Second. Second. Uh, well, Director Mannheim, second by Director Hall. All in favor? Aye. 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 And so moved, approved. Um, regular agenda, our executive director's report. Okay, um, uh, my report is short because I wasn't here most of September, but uh, we've got a lot of things to go on without me. So I'll report on that. Um, uh, we did really well in September. The co-working center earned 11,900 and XXX number of dollars. So um, almost 12,000. Yay. Very exciting. And uh, Satellite is ahead of its projected revenue goal uh, by 34%. So uh, we've rented an office in the new area and have two new members this month. So we're moving along, moving along. Um, government meetings, we did uh, 15 in September. And uh, paid productions, we um, have a new client. We um, Thanks to Matreya, who uh, convinced the... Um, Resource Center for Nonviolence that they should have their own equipment and work with us to get it, and they did. And now uh, they have so many events, they can't handle them all. So they're gonna hire us to run the equipment. So we'll be, that's a good, Great. A new, nice new uh, contact for us. And um, that will help us fill in that paid production slot on our budget. Excellent. So we're happy. And not only that, but um, all the ones that can, that, that can be cleared will be on our air as well. So we'll get a lot of nice, interesting um, content that will be good for the community. And so we're really excited. It's just like a double, it's just like a triple excitement because you get three good things like this. And, and when uh, you say clear, it refers to copyright. legally copyright. Yeah, right. some authors might speak about a book and they don't want, you know, they don't right. want to be on TV or some people do not want to be on TV. Right. Okay. So um, as long as it's, as long as they sign a release, um, then we'll, we'll put it on TV. So we have to abide by their wishes. Some people are happy to be in person, but don't really want to be broadcast. So um, when it, when they will sign, we will we'll do that. Um, facilities and equipment, we're doing a bunch of stuff to the building. I mean, we've been doing stuff, it's time. We've been here for about seven years, so it's time for us to do some improvements. And we will be replacing the carpet in the offices. We never did, <laughs> it's the original carpet. So some of it was pretty bad in some areas. So as people empty those offices, when people leave, we're replacing the carpet. So we're about to replace the carpet in office eight. And um, 
we're going to replace some of the tiles. The reason we got carpet tiles is so we can re replace the high traffic area. So we'll be doing that too. We'll do it on weekends so it won't bug people. But we're in the process of that. We're working with our original carpet company and we'll we'll get that done. They're trying to find it. We have some, we have extra tiles. We bought them in the beginning, but we only have enough for 48 square feet. Mm -hmm. So we need more. So they're working on getting more of that carpet. And um uh, we're also uh, working on the sign. The sign's kind of a deal. <laughs> it's, not, it's really hard to find a good sign company. And uh, finally, I found one. There's a company in town that replaces um, uh, just every year, at least one, one time a year, someone smashes the plexiglass cover on our sign. And so we have to have that replaced. And we've been real hard to do. I finally found a place that can do it. And um, I talked to them about just remodeling the whole sign. Uh, if we change it at all, the one thing about it is it's bigger than the, it sticks out on the sidewalk and into the parking lot, which is probably wouldn't be permitted again. So we're looking at ways to either rebuild it where it stands or come up with something that's not breakable. So they're coming up with a few ideas for us for an electric sign and then maybe for a solid painted sign and or a card sign. There's a lot of ideas they have. So we'll entertain those ideas and then we'll get the sign repaired. Also, they're going to create a sign for the front of the building for CTV. Currently, it still says Armada. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. the landlord said, oh, go ahead and take that down. So we'll take that down and have that replaced. Now, probably be looking at split. That's easy to do. The, the sign on the street's a little harder. Will the sign on the street get a new graphic? Yeah, the like whole, everything will be new. Graphics. Yeah, we'll have a new, um, we'll have the new satellite logo. And uh, the original sign, they they demanded that, one of the things in our contract with satellite is that their logo has to be reflected as they wish it to be. And they wanted it to be gray letters. And now that just looks faded. And now they realize that. So um, we won't be doing that again. But um, that's one of the things that makes the sign look old is that the letters are correct. Mm -hmm. So we'll have that, that, and they have a new logo that's better. Their logo before had this big arc and a thing at the top, which made it hard to fit in a square and there was all this empty space. Mm -hmm. So they've repaired that now. They were not repaired, but they've, mm -hmm. they've remodeled it a little bit better. It. Yeah, it's a better design now. So we'll have a nice sign in the end, but it's gonna be a little while, I think. Um, but they're working on ideas now. So next month, I should have something to show you. Who is that? Um, we're talking? using Northwest Signs. Okay. They they have been really good about right. repairing our sign over right. and over right. again. Yeah. And now they, I asked them if they could do a new sign. They said, sure, that's what we do. That's our business. So we'll get right. some input from them. And uh, and I'm, I'm excited to work with them. They're really nice guys. Mm -hmm. um, Can I ask real quickly? Yeah. Would it be possible to... Elevate it more, or are there, are there restrictions? Probably not. No. <laughs> you go that route, and it'll suddenly shrink and be out of be less uh, yeah. than we have. And it'll take months. It'll yeah. be a big permit thing, I see. and that'll be kind of a nightmare. Okay. I think. I assume. I. Right. I. I hear tell. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I was thinking if, if it was harder to reach, it might be. You know. Yeah, harder for people to break. Right. Well, now we've made it unbreakable. I mean, right. there's a piece of, there's some kind of super plastic in there now that cannot be broken. Uh, but um, but the edges are coming apart. I mean, it's just an old sign. So we need to do some work on it. Okay. Okay. Well, remember, Marjorie, they stole the antenna off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can climb. Yeah. How, how high it is. <laughs> <laughs> so um so we're working on the front wall we're working on the sign we're working on the carpets we're, we're in we're in repair mode um we had two studio productions from members in the studio last month which is good and uh and we did a um uh keith and matilda did keith and matilda keith and matreya did a professional live stream event so i mean it's professionals you know, for, for professionals, it wasn't member produced. So um, that was a big hit, I understand. And, and that's a good thing. So that was a nice thing to, to hold in the studio. And we like the studio to be used. So good for you guys. Thanks for doing that. And um, uh, we did some, one of the things I have on here, content partnerships. And that's one of the only things I really worked on last month. <laughs> but I, what I, my idea is, uh, one of the things we could do, and this is probably for our strategic plan, but is to be able to cover things in the community that are going on, which, you know, we can't do because we don't have that kind of staff. But if we can contact the people who are covering it and get them to give us their stuff, like if it's a Zoom thing, they record it and that sort of thing. So the homeless, there was a homeless um, 
what was it called? It was called the Homeless Response Action Plan Update. So they were they did a big town hall where they announced what they were doing and what had happened and all of that. So I contacted um, the city and asked if if they recorded it, could we have the recording? And so they did, and they gave us the recording. So that's on the air. So that kind of thing, if we can keep up with it, and if you guys hear of stuff happening, that's please let great. me know. We can reach out and make deals and arrangements and partnerships where we can have people sending us their things all the time. Mm -hmm. And yes, Joe? Yeah, the the city does have now a professional public information officer. So will she? Oh, maybe I can contact them. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'll cool. send you her link. Thank you. And Thank then you. she could send you uh, yeah. different items. All kinds of do. things. Yeah. Yeah. And we got um, Representative Panetta did a thing in Capitola about the storms. Mm -hmm. And that was really good information. And I had wanted to do something on that. And then he did it. So that was great. Right. So yeah. we were able to get yeah. his and we sent someone who actually went there and recorded mm -hmm. that. Oh, right. But because he couldn't, he didn't have the wherewithal. Mm -hmm. we could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if you could put me in the caliber of Representative Panetta, but sure. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. but we got that, and that was really good information for the community. So, if we can make partnerships like that, we could get a lot of really good information that we don't have to produce. We can just be the conduit to the community. So, that's my goal for this year. That's one of them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and that that's my um, another thing that we are entertaining. I just want to give you the heads up. We may not be able to do it. So, but um, the cable cast equipment that we have has just announced that they may be able to caption things in, you know, they can caption things in Spanish. Oh, wow. So oh. what we're thinking that we might be able to do is do the government meetings, a separate, maybe a second replay in Spanish or at least have Spanish captions. So it's so, in mean, translation. Yeah, second language. Oh, oh wow. So we can... Um, and, you know, there's a lot of technical things and it depends on if it works with ENCO. And so uh, Victor and I and Olivia are working on the captioning, trying to understand um, there are a lot of federal regulations, which we hire outside people to help us comply with so we can give the government compliance. Uh, so that's why they pay us, because we make sure that they don't get in trouble. And um, we want to make sure that this captioning system would meet all of those regulations. But if it does, it would be, I don't think it would cost us anything extra to do. Uh -huh. And it would be wow. um, just a value added to the community. Uh -huh. And once we figure that out, maybe we can figure out a stream for everything. Do, do we have the capability of um, using like closed captioning to show where you can choose either Spanish or English? Yeah, dual, dual captioning. Dual captioning. I don't know. We're still investigating it. I think so. I think it's on your remote, usually. Because if if we have the ability to put two sort of two different captioning streams and let people select, yeah, then you don't have to juggle play times. It's just if people can self-select. Yeah. Well, what we're thinking we might have to juggle play times because we might have to do it in a second pass. I don't know if we can do languages, two languages at once. Yeah. I might have to be a second round. And if we have to the captioning might be a second round. We don't know yet. Yeah, that's, that's just what we're investigating. Yeah. I just want to let you know we're thinking about it. And if you have any thoughts, I'd love to hear them. But we I think that's a that great idea. That's yeah, my thought. It would be Absolutely. a good thing to do. And we'll see how much we can do. I mean, we can do everything. We don't know. <laughs> we, can, we can try. Yeah. And it may not be perfected captions, but it'll be that, but there'll be there'll be more information, mm -hmm. uh, definitely. So that's just in the that's in the yeah, works, and I'll right. keep you posted. That's it Great. for me. Great. Any comments, questions, additional comments, questions? Great. Thank you very much. Good report for a short month. <laughs> All right. Start with some deep. Okay. Um, now we have some verbiage to look at. Review updates to community television board policies, board expectations, and public access rules and procedures documents. It was brought to my attention that perhaps this should be approved, these updates. I think we will just uh, review them now and there may be some questions and comments. We'll edit and then come back next week or next month rather for approval of a final version, if that's all right with folks. Um, I'll start with you, Becca. Do you I have, just have a question? I thought uh, we're doing financial policies and there are two other documents as well. Yes, yeah, so there's, um, a lot of there's a bunch so, of- But are there all tonight? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have board policies, board expectations, okay. and then public access rules and procedures documents. So these are documents that we've had for a while. 
they've been updated. There's mm -hmm. some folks have been working on them and the, the versions that we have should show track changes. Um, and I know that there are a couple. So let's take board policies first. Um, and are there um, questions, Matilda? So I'm not sure if this is fine. So uh, under the expectation of board members, yeah. uh, we have the uh, conflict of interest. And uh, so it's not so much that- Could you give me a page number so I know? It's- uh, I, I've got it in there. Okay. Uh, I don't think we've done it every year. So we need to do this every year, the conflict of interest. Okay, and what is that? Um, well, there, there are all sorts of different things. If you're, if, yeah, if you're covered by the state, they have a whole big system. You do it online. If you're covered by your own self, which this would be, uh, you fill out whatever form you have here. And I remember filling it out ages ago. The it declaration, should, basically? It should, be, it should be in the bylaws. At this financial disclosures? At case quits yeah. in the bylaws. Okay. And so what I do at case quit is I just print it out and have everybody sign it. Okay. So, I mean, we just have to be aware that we have read it and that, you know, we yeah. should not have so any, we don't have any conflict of interest here. Okay. But Can I just want to do it online. Dr. Sign. Or do you have to? Okay. Uh, I don't know how somebody wants to do it. I'm not the same. You send it to me. We, I can send it out to everybody. By yeah, we just, sign. Yeah, it's we just, it's in the bylaws. It should be in the bylaws. We can just sign it and PDF it back. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, Patria. Oh, sorry, beg your pardon. Continue. So the other things I have is that <clears throat> it says in some of them, you know, last revised or something like that in the financial policy and procedures. We're not, we're not there yet. We're just doing board. Okay. Right, that's the different. Why don't we just go through each one as okay. we? Yeah. So we're doing board policy. So that was right it. Now. That I have. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, number two on the same page, expectation of board members. I mean, it seems like that being a member in good standing. I think I. I don't know. I haven't seen a, a, re a renewal. I've been a member, but that seems to go back to when um, when the board was elected by you know from the membership. Oh, I see. So I don't think that would apply yeah, anymore. And it also, I mean, I, you know, I'm I'm probably not a member in good standing because I haven't I haven't paid since in ten years. <laughs> I was now, there are dues that we all right. are supposed to pay to be members. Then no. I'm not very good no. in standing either. No. no. So if there is a free member policy now. All you have to do is sign that you agree to our respect things, right? Okay. That's all you have to do. But um, even that, I'm just saying that's sort of I I hasn't even been on my radar that I needed to do that. So that was my question. One of the questions I had as well. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I guess this is free membership. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like it really applies to the current. I just when you sell up as a member, it's on the website. Right. right, Pete. I don't. I'm not opposed. I've been a member for a long time. Yeah, just sign up, you know, and that's it. And it's a free membership. When's the next orientation? It's online. Right. It's, it's online. Been... <laughs> <laughs> you can orientate yourself. <laughs> so, what's what are people's um, what's your pleasure? Continue to have it be a member of good standing, given the the fact that you just sort of declare yourself a member and it's a free thing. Yeah, right, and then of course, you know, the other part of a good member of good standing is that we haven't done anything to antagonize anybody. Right. You know, we haven't been punished by the. Uh, <laughs> well, well, some of this all came from uh, a different time of the board yeah. behavior. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had boards. Remember when we started to get on the board at least you? Mm -hmm. Gosh, that board was. Awful. <laughs> they were yelling at each other. <laughs> well, I, I was trying not to say anything. <laughs> other, other comments? Tom, do you have I have this? several things. So, starting with the agenda packet preparation, I think um, in the second paragraph, we've changed it, it, it to basically the, where it says two weeks prior to the board meeting today, it should be 10 days. So the sentence reads, agenda issue and written materials from the individuals and organizations other than the CTV staff must be submitted to the chair of the board in final form one week prior to the packet distribution date. The packet distribution day is 72 hours uh, before the meeting. Hours. So it's not two weeks, it's 10 days, uh, right. just for clarity. Mm -hmm. So okay. um, that should be changed. We took out two weeks. Yeah. You did elsewhere, you, oh. but, but there it still says 
Um, Good ten, math. It says the, it, parenthetical. Right. Two weeks prior to the board. Third meeting. line of the second paragraph right. yeah. says okay. two weeks and it should be 10 days. Um, so that's the first thing. Next one, I read the open access to public meetings and I don't have a clue what activities declared in advance to be public refers to. Because can anybody tell me? I, I read this over and over and I, I mean, I literally, it didn't make any sense. Isn't though. everything public unless we... Unless, is it personal no, issues? Open uh, access to public think, meetings. I just, it was a baffling, the whole thing was baffling to me. Sorry, what, what page is that on? It's policy four, open access to public meeting. It's consistent with the mission statement as well as the organization's rule and, rules and procedures. Supports, uh, the board of directors supports and promotes full and complete open access to productions events and activities declared in advance to be public the title and, is wrong well i don't even know why what are we declaring as public I, to who? no I, I think i think the the, the the title is incorrect open yeah. access to public meetings it is yeah, it is access uh, open access to public events to to the public you know, it's, it has to do with productions, events, and activities. Now, those aren't needed. This is about discrimination. Anything mm -hmm. that we announce is open to the public. Right. We can't yeah. discriminate against anyone coming. To it. I'd I suggest agree. that would be a great thing to say. Yeah, yeah. because I didn't this say that does not that say. It. No. I, I just I this this whole section to me. Um, yes, yeah, open access to productions, events, and activities. So it's the title that's incorrect. Public events. Well, no, I think I it's also the that. open access. If, if we're trying to say we don't discriminate and anybody can come in yeah. and, and create productions and and whatever, or then we days. ought to say that. But yeah. that's not what this says. Yeah, we should just say what we mean. Well, why don't we yeah. just put this on? You know, we don't have to rush through this. We can look at a rewrite I, of that I, next. This, time. yeah, I mean, I'd be happy to work with other okay. people or if the, if the people who did it. But I, I just. I would suggest yeah, send your comments to me. Please. Yes, let's do that. Okay. Um, okay, we talked about the dues, and I think there was just one other thing, which was um, this is now back in the section on um, program ownership and distribution, no use of public access equipment, sorry. And under field equipment, we say a typical field equipment checkout is three days with exceptions for higher priced equipment. Yes. Doesn't specify what higher price. I don't know what that means. It means they can get it for a day. No, but what's a higher what price? What constitutes a higher a price? Higher price, price defined, yeah. is yeah. needs to either be defined or it ought to be to say except except where the executive director has decided it should be, you know, more limited or something. Well, it's not yeah. more limited. It's this see if you do it for three days, you pay for three days. Uh, that's not what this is. Oh, the reason this I is, think that this is, is this is yeah. for the release. This is for the special equipment that we don't have a lot of, and if you want to take it out. Well, what it is specifically, I believe, is we have some we have some professional gear yeah. that's really expensive, yeah. and most pros don't need it for three days. Yeah. They need it for one day. I understand. So unless it's a one-day rental, I think we can make it pretty clear that most things are for three days unless... How about you know, unless, <laughs> you know, but in other words, I'm just looking at what's written here. Yeah. So what would work? Something like there are three days except for equipment that the executive designated right? for okay. single yeah. day rental yeah. homes. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, otherwise, yeah, yeah. something, yeah. something other but, than just higher price. Because yeah. you can you can either use designated or yeah. put a dollar value. I mean, and I don't know what that. I would think be. the dollar value could change. So yeah. I would yeah. say it's yeah. just yeah. less designated otherwise. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Like less designated yeah. otherwise. Yeah. Executive director yeah. 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 by the executive director. Right. Yeah. And then you can make the call that that particular yeah. camera is a one day camera or whatever. Yeah. It's just that's really to make it easier to rent. So, because right. if we make someone pay three days, it, those mm -hmm. cameras go for $127 yeah. a day. So mm -hmm. then we'd have to pay a lot of money. And most of, mostly, if you're a producer making something, you're going to make sure you, 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 you work the whole day and shoot everything yeah. you yeah. need. Right? And let me be clear the policy makes sense to me. It's just sort of, I thought the way it was written. Yeah, it's, you're right. Okay. It was okay. You're right. Sure. Well, knowing that Keith worked in these are perfect, so I didn't have a lot of comments. <laughs> but I had one question. 
Um, when I went through these, some of it I kind of realized are from years back when there was a huge staff, much different than now. Mm -hmm. But has there been any change from your knowledge about on-air fundraising? Because this is yeah, 2012, a... and I don't know what the standard practice is now, or uh, if the law hasn't changed, or because mm -hmm. everything I watch, like on public television, has all sorts of, uh, and I don't know if anybody would even do it on on our channels, but it's still a thought. I just thought I'd raise, if anybody knows anything more about it, I don't. I think that the, what's happened possibly in the past is that um, I know that when um, Comcast had their own station, their yeah. own local station, they did fundraising for their schools. Yeah. So it might have been with the thought in mind that we might like to help another Town, like community organization so, raise funds. So put something on the air. It was mostly oh. KUSB. Right. Oh, it's KUSB for the auction funds? or something. Yeah. Every year they have a huge event. Huge their own studio. Yeah. Huge they had special phone lines. Oh yeah. They call yeah. it. It was. It that was... doesn't work anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, by the way. It's not a... it, um, yeah, it is so fun. I it's like a direct auction. Yeah. Well, the nightmare. Keep mm -hmm. first and then. The other thing is, is that our policies and procedures specifically don't allow fundraising. <laughs> yeah. Public access producers or anyone to make calls for action, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're covered that way. So. Yeah. We should probably not use our air for fundraising. I mean, we either we do or we don't. I mean, I, it seems like we don't. I mean, we don't allow calls to action in anything we've done. Any otherwise, there. right? Tom, comment. Except for ourselves. Well, should we remove policy five? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's yep. just strike it. Well, if you remove it, or does it? Then there's does a question. It... So we got. I think we should. We should say no. We don't. If, it, if we're not going to. Oh, well, Rather than leave the question saying. open if we don't have a rule. We can do that. Well, if we were to strike that, um, does it does its absence imply that we do allow or we fundraising, could. or we could, or someone yeah, could I think use? If we don't the say we do or we don't, then it's always. I like a the idea of open. making a clear statement. If we don't, then we can just we say that. Yeah, and say that. Of course, that excludes us from ever being. Yeah, well, that was kind of <laughs> the past. Well, and I can also imagine. I, I'm just remembering like after the earthquake and there were all these fundraisers or whatever. Mm -hmm. I wonder if, if it makes sense to say that it's um, at the discretion of the at the discretion of the executive director. Yeah. Um, you know, so, so it could say CTV shall permit, shall only permit locally based nonprofit fundraising by bona fide 501c3s. Oh and the executive director may off um such fundraising, you know, must be authorized, by the, yeah. authorized by the executive director. Okay, okay yeah. that, that's that fine. again puts it and it's and and chance. must be in the best interest of this. Says the organization is that CTV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, or the organizations that's doing the fundraising. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's, maybe it should be in the best interest of the community. No. Uh, no, 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 no. You want to be the one deciding that? <laughs> that is not a question. Well, I was thinking like the good of all, but I guess we never see it. What I'm hearing is that you don't want to change this. It's what you just read. That yeah. makes sense. No, except what I said, I added the word only. Where? So, um, CTV shall permit, shall only permit. Okay. Locally based nonprofit fundraising by bona fide five hundred one c three. So there we're saying you got to be a five hundred one c three, and you have to get our okie dokie. And you know, um, such that. fundraising must be authorized by the executive director and must be deemed to be in the best interest of consistent with CTV's. Mission. Yeah. Yeah. That, that works with our mission. Yeah. Okay, I didn't mean to bring up, I just thought but well, that's a good point. It's a, a kind of yeah. evolving discussion. And, and part of and part of the thing is that these are legacy documents from another mm -hmm. era that yeah. had different um, yeah. issues and stuff. Yeah. Was that did you get that? Either? Yeah, but if anything you could send me. I was making it up on the fly, but yeah, I'll, 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 I'll write it later and send it to you. Okay, okay, good, thank you. That was my major comment. I mean, All I right. thought. Great, thank you. So, um, 
Okay. Yeah, so I, I thought we were just doing the board. Um, if we're in the, if we're doing the section with the board expectations, uh, well, we've kind of public access all rules of the board and procedures, policies, board expectations. And public yeah, access. there was so that's all one agenda item. All of these except oh. the financials. So, so not the public access rules and procedures. Okay, so yeah, and the public access rules and procedures. I had a question about um, you know there's the definitions. So, a certified volunteer is that still a category? A user who contributes time to the organization on a non-paid ba uh, basis and receives in-kind volunteer hour payment for use as credits or studio. I thought the studio supervisors, they get credit for acting as a studio supervisor, but are there other volunteers that get credit? Okay, so that's still an applicable category definition. Okay, and then um, in the major minor violations, uh, storing furniture or set pieces in the studio is listed under both, I think. Well, uh, yeah, storing furniture or set pieces in the studio is listed as N under minor violations and is listed as W, storing furniture or set pieces under major violations. So I guess the question is, is it both or is it just one or the other? Depends on how much furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Probably does. Mm -hmm. Did we miss that key? Must have. Oh, it's one of the last items of each section. Yeah, so it's favorite. W under major, storing furniture or set pieces in the studio. We don't store, we don't allow that. Right, that's a violation. That's These are violations. Violation. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that, so, so under W, it's a major, and under Is it a N, it's been added in as a minor. It's just not possible. <laughs> we don't have any space. Is it a mea culpa or a mea moxi, maxima culpa? I would say moxie because we don't have space in there for that. We barely have. So space. then delete and down. delete and storing furniture is that Okay, so it's not a minor. Yeah, delete it from the minor and right. it in the major. Okay, okay. Yeah. That people down. do still okay. ask this, even though we have for years just not stored furniture. Right. So then I had a question on D. So, you know, because all the equipment's available for rent now, D where uh, under major violations. So A one D. So I mean, so under F, reserving or checking out equipment uh, or facilities. So now it's just reserving facilities for use by a non-certified user. You know, so there's the whole certification thing, right? You used to have to be certified to use any of the equipment, but now we just rent equipment to anybody who's certified or not, right? That's correct. So, so D, use of equipment and facilities for a purpose not related to production of a program for public access cable cast. Um, if somebody's renting the equipment, right, then they can rent it for whatever purpose they want, right? It's not a violation to rent. If you're paying for the equipment, and you go out and shoot an ad advertisement for somebody, right? Wait, you, wait, yes. wait, 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 wait. The rules and regulations are for people who are users. Yeah, they're they not. They're public. not for the general public. There's a difference. But if the user is, they're paying for the equipment either way, right? Or if they're if they're using volunteer hours to to use the equipment, then it has to be for a, a CTV production. Yes. But Our that's size. not that's not specified there. Though, it doesn't. Right? Sound like that when you hear it read. Well, but see the the rules. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Keith. But the rules and procedures is for for members for users. Right. For, but, so when somebody's checking out the equipment, they have to specify. Okay, I'm using this as a user now, uh, not as a private citizen or you know, as a as a. Yeah, there seems are, like there's... there are rules about if you make money, then you have to. Get, there used to be rules about if you used our our equipment and made for a professional production and made money for it, you had to give us some of the money. But, but that's when you can use the equipment for free, right? I mean, uh, I don't know that they were. I don't. That's still were, in here, right? The, yeah, I saw. I saw that. Yeah, I think if you're using points, it's because you. Sh that's see, all users must be a member at some level. If you go to the definitions, that's what a user is. And, but you only have to go online and say, I'm a member, right? It's what you just yeah, said previously. That's what we said earlier. We yeah, they have to be members. members. That's correct. But you just have to go online and say, I'm a member. Sure. Well, so I still think D needs to be clarified, right? Because, yeah. So, yeah. But can, I just ask, can, I ask, can I ask a question? Yes. 
We no. so are we we're distinguishing between users and like okay. professionals who come in and rent the That's equipment, correct. right? Yeah. So this public access rules and procedures only applies to public access members. Exactly. Okay. But you brought up a good point, Matilda. You know, in the past, you'd used equipment for stuff you were paid for, and you made a point to pay cash for the equipment and not use points. I'm not sure everybody else is as honorable about that as you are. Major violation. No, no, no. Matilda's doing her right. Major, major pat on back. Right. <laughs> yeah, you did it right. And so. Well, so I think this needs to be clarified. Though. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not sure how to do that, but. I'm not so not sure that's in here that but it is public access. And well, and the people who come in from the public just you know renting something, they're not participating in a public access. They're not putting it on our air. No, but if you rented a camera and someone paid you to shoot a production, is that public access? If you don't air it on the channel, I mean sort of the, the way the test in the past has been I could go out and get paid for something. And then if I brought it in and aired it on the channel, it was okay that I used my points and all. Yeah, but uh, after like a hundred dollars, I have to pay so much percent to the station. TV, yeah. So these rules and procedures, are, and that's why when we revised this, we put in public access rule because we we Got predicted it. that you were going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> public access. Oh, it's on TV. Public access rules and, and procedures. That's what that's how you need to read it. Okay. But then maybe, maybe, you know, a lot of people might understand that, but other people would read that and not really know what that means. So do you have a place where you define that? So it's really clear to people because I can see somebody just trying to play it. We did have a problem with that at one time too, with members saying they were from CTV and charging people mm -hmm. and recording things and putting them on the air and like keeping the I saw that. That's definitely yeah, listed yeah. in there. That was a major just, just representing yourself. But, yeah. So if I may, may one more time. So a user is anyone participating in any aspect of community access programming. They also have to be a member. But it is not so that if you're a member, then you're automatically participating in public access program. It's public access. You can rent something and go out, get money, whatever it is. No, I, I understand. I just didn't know if maybe needed to be defined in, so that everyone would understand. Because some Why don't people Why don't Matilda, Matreya, and me discuss this? Sure. Yeah, okay. and, we'll come back. Back. and if I can just suggest maybe what you do is, do I, uh, I think, you know, you've covered it for those who understand it. With the cha title change, you could just have a um, maybe clarifying right. in the statement That's of big purpose big. or right at the top so that these rules apply to and when, you know, yeah. don't apply to professionals, they do apply to whatever or something. Yeah, they apply to people who participate in, in, the, yeah, in the organization. Yeah. Along, that would make it clear. Along those same lines, you know, um, is it minor violation, major violation K, you know, unauthorized equipment by a non-certified crew, right? So, I mean, I don't know, I guess there's a question, like, so when somebody rents the studio, are they using all the equipment, the cameras, or are they just renting it as a space and they're bringing their own cameras? Could be, could be both. Yes. Do they need, a, the do they need to have a studio supervisor both. there when they're using uh -huh. the... They're using our equipment, they need to have a studio supervisor. Okay. Usually they don't, though. If they're not certified, you know... But, 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 this is for public access. People who are paying for it don't have to have certified uh, volunteers. So just if it's just a they transaction, just, just a rental transaction yeah. by somebody who's making a production, right. then it doesn't right. fall within. And the they don't use our gear. They always bring their own. Typically, yeah, own. because ours is not well, what people are using today. And they don't want to. They're not broadcasting. They're not going to record. They don't record three camera shoots. They mm -hmm. all. They're doing single setup. They're shooting single camera film style. We've had people using the TriCast, mm -hmm. but then there's always somebody. The studio there. supervisor. Okay. Always somebody there. Hmm. Okay. Where? Actually, and then sometimes you have to take over because they don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a maybe it's not the best time to bring this up because it's getting late. But um, there was something about uh, moving the lights, right? Yeah. Um. I understand that you know we have professional setup the current lighting grid. I mean in the old studio, people could move the lights around and stuff. Um, 
just a thought. I'm just gonna throw it out. We don't have to talk about it. Um, there's all kinds of cool lights out there that are remote controllable. You know, so we could have this current lighting grid just the way it is. It's locked down, but we could also add some lights in there that have like gobos that can throw cool patterns that you can change the colors and you can remotely control them. You could have them moving around, you know, for like live music. Be, you know, I think it would be a nice compromise to have that. You know, we have our, you know, business in the front, party in the rear, you know, sort of <laughs> uh, thing where you have your studio lights for, you know, typical talking head productions. Then we could have some fun lights for the people who want to have fun. Yeah, I think yeah. that's fine. Yeah, but first you got to put them in, then you write your policy for it. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see you're getting excited, which I thought was interesting. But being a bureaucrat, reviving is, I said, well, you got to get excited and then write the rule. <laughs> well, and it might be nice. And people are allowed to 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 rent the, the, the field lighting kit and set them up in the studio if they want. So I don't know if that could be clarified. It's number, it's M. You know, if I'm making changes to the fixed lights in the facility or the... the we don't know. have those lights yet, so is it? The question yeah. about the fixed lights. Well, well, the fixed lights have to stay where they are because they're for certain. No, I understand, but I'm saying areas. clarifying. Maybe I'm to be right now. It says making just change the word the light light. facility. Why don't you just add the word fixed to the installed to be permanently installed? Making changes to the fixed lights in the facility. Right. Right. Okay. And then at such time that we get the. Right. Or then you can have unfixed can... lights <laughs> that do <laughs> all the fun things, things you want them to do. That's okay. it for me. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you for your patience. Thank okay. you. Um, okay. Any other comments, questions? So we will we will revisit these. So a little subcommittee on certain things will clarify these. Tom, you're gonna send I'll some send language, language so. and Keith will be the wrangler of all of this. You Thank you for that. Um, and then we will revisit these um, next month uh, for approval. And then in the meantime, well. oh, with the financial, did we go over? We haven't done that. Yeah, no, that's, that's a separate line item. item. Um, and I go ahead, Jerry. Well, what I was going to say is it possible that somebody could send to us the conflict of interest, or if there, if there is such, we can sign it now? Mm -hmm. You know, remember we talked about that. Matilda had some idea that we should have some kind of a conflict of interest form. And I was just, well, you know, we can talk about it next time. We don't have to do it tonight. But I thought it was good to follow up on that. Does someone have this form? No, it's, it should it's in the be in the bylaws. It's in the bylaws? Okay, so we'll find we it. have that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Usually, conflict yeah. of interest is number nine, article nine in the bylaws. Okay. Most bylaws. Of course, I'm not sure if it's CTV. We do things differently. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it by next meeting because November is like yeah, organized right. Okay. Yeah, we should do that. Okay. The election of officers. Right. We could sign him at the retreat if we had. Oh, that, yeah. that's a good idea. Okay. Um, I will move on to number nine. And this, um, why I put it differently is that one of our October things is to review the current fiscal year budget. We've kind of done that with your report, but if there's any anything you'd like to add or the finance committee um, add, and then we can look at the updates to the financial policies while we're at it. So this is sort of the financial issue or item. Any comments, um, Matilda? The the only thing I found that and you know that's easy to fix that a lot of them of these things say uh, revised, 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 and some of them are old revised. So they just need to be... Just clean up the old ones, take those off. Clean, clean up the revised language. Are right. the revisions? Hmm. And I can you... I think she's talking about in the very upper words. Some of them say revised. Not on here at bottom, all, so that's fine. It says at the bottom or the last page of something, yeah, it says revised example. 2017 or whatever. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Yeah, very at the very bottom. In mm -hmm. tiny print off to the right. I have one more yes. important thing, but yes. not with these things. But this would be then a great um, time for us to change bylaws number 9.01, which is obviously not a conflict of interest. In the 9.01 purpose, change the word in earnment. Can, can I'm, I'm sorry, what was you're that? talking about the bylaws? Yeah, just. Because this is not so. This yeah. is. It is not in there. Not on the agenda. This is one word, because oh. uh, it it says in 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 Urimund, 
or in ermond. What? And mm. that's so spelling mistake. In ermond means that you are doing something with ashes. <laughs> Putting so in urn. <laughs> we should not have that in the Bible. And I've been a couple of years ago. I told him. I said we got to change that word. In ermond. In ermond. Oh, yeah. In In ermond. Well, maybe that's more of a clarification, and Becca can do it on her own authority as opposed not to the bylaws. Not the bylaws. You know, even a word change. All right. The spelling. Well, the we typo. need to go put it on the agenda. It's yet. a typo, but it's a terrible typo. <laughs> All right. Well, let's we'll we will uh, you got it in address minutes? that and put it on the agenda yeah. next time. <laughs> what? No. That's just why I was suggesting if it's just a mistake in a word. Well, uh, whatever. Maybe what we, uh, I won't say anymore. Authorize the executive director at the next meeting to bring forth a one word change. Mm -hmm. The secretary. Well, we so, have to still vote on it, though. We have to vote okay. on it. Okay. okay. Yeah, just for the record. Well, let's, well, I will make a note for that. Yeah. So in, this is in so now we're in nine, financial policy. Nine point one on purpose. And I looked it up, it's still there. In, and that's in the bylaws. Yeah. So. Okay. We'll clean that up. Um, we could just burn something. <laughs> <laughs> burn the bylaws. <laughs> Put it in the urn. Yeah. Um, okay. So financial <laughs> policies. I, I had nothing. Good. And I'll make a report saying that a good part of this work was done by Keith and Tom. And we went through it twice. With Guy and I, uh, we were kind of the smaller part. They were the major part. But almost all of this really just reflects bringing things up to 2023. There's yeah. really, uh, when I went through it, I said, well, you know, it's good when it was. But there are little things in here you kind of have to laugh at it, how technology has moved forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to give credit to where credit was due. They did a lot of work on it. I went on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> we don't stamp checks anymore? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of that stuff we were talking about. Yeah, it's it a does scanning man. checks and stuff. Um, okay, so what we'll do if if that looks good? Any other questions, comments? So we will bring this back for approval at next meeting. Um, this is a review, and I I guess we can't approve it because we didn't call for approval, as you pointed out. But, so we'll do that next meeting. Okay. We can put um, it on the consent agenda too. Yeah, yeah I was wondering about that. Yeah. 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 Um, just one comment about the um, the bylaws do not include any kind of statement that we can sign for um, conflict of interest. No, what, what we do at case squid is we just print out the conflict of interest, um, whatever says in there, and then people sign it. It should, it should have it. a conflict of interest. I got it. Okay. So you're on the site, and those are the bylaws. Yeah, this is actually not on the site. This is, I, I downloaded these years oh, ago. Okay. So. okay. But um, so there is a there are you know several pages of conflict of interest. And in that's like three, about three pages. And so what we're asking for, just to be clear, is that you sign a thing that you're aware of those policies that you acknowledge that yeah. acknowledged, and and so you're on the record for yep. so you can't go on and do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you make a mistake. You ban. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, fine. <laughs> Let's move on to item number 10, Education Committee's report. And oh, we've yeah. had Fun some AI, AI, AI meetings and some other things. Who would like to take this? David? Um, okay, well, we've had two uh, AI and society uh, events and at the Capitol Library, and they were minimally attended, maybe 10 to 12 people attended each evening. But um, I must say that the presenters uh, for AI and education were um, pretty special. And uh, I think everybody who did attend were really appreciative of what they had to offer. And the same for AI and democracy. Um, Zach Friend and he, and he brought an administrative aid, and I can't remember. Oh, the Benson? Yeah, yeah. And kind of gave a whole history of the use of AI and how it all started without them even realizing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, they are now providing uh, guidance and education and clarity on how it can be used and not be used. 
Um, we're also preparing for AI and creativity for um, next month. And we have um, two people already who were, will be there. We're looking for a third. We would love uh, to have a woman who can speak to AI and creativity. And, Sorry. Um, if anybody has any suggestions or thoughts, please send them our way. Keith, do you have anything else to add? Yeah, a couple of things. Um, we've got Alita. Alyssa. Alyssa. I thought I touch her name is Lisa. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, I've got really good positive feedback on the things she said about what's going on at the county. Yes. And I have recommended to one of the public access producers that they have her on as a guest because I think she would be really good. Mm -hmm. um, and one of my favorite things she said was, that one of the ways they're noticing AI being used is that when they put out a job request, <laughs> people fill it out and they all have the same answer. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny. Yeah, that letters they come. So in. it works on both sides. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have the same assistant. <laughs> yeah. And I, don't, I don't, I've asked Gee for help, maybe find someone from UCSC who can talk about your AI yeah. creativity. I'm sure you had a chance to do it. Yeah, I was I was away yesterday and today, but um, yeah, I haven't yet. But I can do turn to that. And then your note about um, Jennifer Pittman checking with her. I, she's around, I guess. Do you know her? She used to be on our board. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Might check with her, and I'll I'll look into it as well. See if we can get somebody. Okay, okay I will contact you. Okay. And I would like to add, I was able to be at the last one in person, but um, several people I talked to um, viewed it online, and I don't know if there are numbers for that, but I know there were several people who did, and it was very interesting because um, they said that when they heard the education um, panel, they were encouraged about the possibilities, and then when you heard the politicians talk, uh, <laughs> that we are in such trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that that was really interesting to me. The other thing that happened, Becca, is that several people said to me, "Who's that, Becca? We like." But yeah, I don't know how many people did watch online. Do we know? Um, I did. <laughs> there were, I don't know, there were half a dozen on the last one, but the first one, we only had five online during it. We had 100 Since... people watch it in the next month. Mm, wow. The other thing is that both were streamed, and this time Victor got it on the channel live. Uh -huh. So it streamed live on YouTube and was carried on channel 26 wow. live at the same great. time. Yeah. Nice, uh, I need to ask him if we can do that for the next one. Yeah. Gonna, when, what's the date of the next one? November 14th. Okay. We're going to send help for you. One of our, um, we're going to send an operator to help you on that night because there's too much to do. Okay. What, what are their skills? <laughs> I want to gonna take this offline. <laughs> yeah, you can tell me. yeah, I'll let Victor be, Victor will be the judge. You can talk to Victor, but we've decided that it, we, we can help. It looked like there was just so much to do and it's hard to get, especially if you're rolling in clips and stuff and audio. And so we thought it would be helpful to have another person there. So we'll send somebody. You can tell Victor what you need. I know exactly what I need. Okay. He'll, he'll, and we've talked to one, possibly one of the education committee members, Linda. We've asked her if she might like to help. So if you don't get someone from Victor, I have a potential for someone else. Oh, we got a real technical person. I, I understand. <laughs> Linda, Linda has done a lot of directing. So, okay. Um, anyway, yeah. I'm happy to have. Uh, yeah. I'm not yeah. saying no. Yeah. Whatever help you, you I need. agree with you that I need more help. Yeah. There's, yeah. Yeah. Know, yeah. We just think about the sounds. That was the last one that, you know, it worked beautifully at home. Uh, so I always got there and it didn't, I didn't notice it wasn't working. So, well, just one other thing. Um, my friend Doug Erickson, who's head of uh, Santa Cruz Works, has, was very kind in helping um, promote our events. Oh, that's nice. And they're having AI and her. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks very interesting. It's going to be at the uh, Coconut grow. Coconut grow. Oh, wow. Um, so, anyway, uh, I'll him promote that. They charge for that event, don't they? They do. 
Yeah. All right. Thank you. Anything else on education? Okay, let's talk about item number 11, uh, retreat this coming Saturday here, right, in the studio. Um, <laughs> is that what we've talked about? Did you decide that while I was away? Oh, mm -hmm. well, um, <laughs> I thought that that's what we were doing, but I guess we should talk about that. Um, I don't, I don't, I see no reason why not. Okay. It does, I just. Yeah, no. initially it was going to be, we were talking about your room over at Sorrento Oaks, but you won't be there because you're going to be otherwise engaged. You'll be here for. Yeah, I'll be here for about an hour. Okay. I have to be at the Bowlathon at 12.15. I'm the okay. bean counter. I do that every year. So, uh, you know, they they would go crazy okay. if, if I'm not there. So I'll be here from 11 to about 12. Take so me. can we do that? Is that a, a problem? Or I don't think it's a problem. I'll look and see if someone's reserved the studio. Okay, for that would it, be good. Okay. Not, uh, it should okay. be fine. All right. Yeah, yeah. No worries. You may as well reserve it then. It's, and then is it? It's all day. You're going to be there. Well, it's, it's twelve. Hours. Hours. Start Start to 10, 10, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. It's it's 11, 11, 11 to when two. When did that happen? Right. Oh, three. Yeah. Oh, three. Right. Eleven to two. Three hours. Right. Eleven. Yeah. That's great. Um. Okay. It should be fine. I just don't know about the schedule. Did you look at it, Keith? I told you it should be planned on lunch set before we get there. Right. Or are we doing well, that was, I was thinking we'd have lunch here as part yeah, of it. We um, actually do have lunch yeah. at the, and, yeah. And I'm, so that's another question. The studio is open all day. So we want it from uh, okay, let's flip 11 to 2. Yeah. Or we'll we'll 10, to 10, to, 10 to 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. And then I'll, I'll, uh, we'll, I'll get lunch in and okay. we can um, have. Oh. Snacks and coffee and great. drinks and great. stuff. Okay. And then Ooh. it's it's kind of wide open. I mean, really, we're looking ahead three years. Um, you know, what there's a lot of changes, and so it's a lot of changes ahead of us. You know, there have been in the past three years, four years since we last did this. Um, so we, I'm just sort of looking for people's ideas and strategies and thoughts, you know, in terms of what our mission is, public access. And... Well, one thing we talked a, a little while ago, uh, Becca, just because she's a professional leader here, just see among her community of people what are kind of looking forward to and what their ideas were. And I, I think some of these things came up in a conference. And I'd be curious, first of all, just to hear hers not her vision, but what she's seen happening in what you see on the horizon. Horizon, yeah. And we can yeah. all pipe in with our ideas, but there's kind of a level of uh knowledge there that I know I don't have. I mean, we can all guess, but anyhow, that's my only thought. Yeah. Okay. Um I I continue to worry about um the stability of our capital dollars, mm -hmm. which right now are robust and we don't have to worry about, but Everything you hear about cable, what's okay. going on with cable. I mean, the latest thing now is that the sports companies, the I mean, the um, sports organizations are trying to um, get out of cable contracts, which are very lucrative for cable, mm -hmm. so that they can just stream it and do make other oh, arrangements. Oh, there are all of these things happening in the cable industry that I think do not portend well for the long term sort of revenue stream. I think that Spectrum has done something where they are not going to have cable. They're just going to have streaming. So you oh, can yeah. just subscribe to the services platforms you want. You want. That's kind of like what they've done yeah. in Canada with cable. So I just, I, you know, that, if that revenue stream went away, mm -hmm. we would have some mm -hmm. more profound problems than we can imagine. So um, I don't know if there's, I'm not sure what we do about that, but it just feels to me like something that what's the need? One thing we, we know um, from Pat, I think you and I talked to um, uh, Kevin Bowling, and he had been planning for that. So he had like a sort of a savings account for that yeah, kind of a thing. That's, don't know that's, <laughs> that's a well, declining savings account. In I'm other sure. words, it's if there's no money going into that savings account oh yeah 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 it'll only last us for so long yeah it would well, only it i think it just means there's a another year or there, two there's or a little backup um, yeah you right. might want to talk to tammy weigel about that yeah yep because yeah, I, I don't know in a public it's meeting still there i don't know well yeah. i don't know how much i can disclose in a public meeting but we just started some conversations at the county so and um, we have some relatively new people in the county administrative office and and 
uh, they just discovered that we have a large sum of money in there <laughs> and we're talking about how to spend it. Uh, oh. So uh, priorities change. I, I don't think we're going to be up, you know, I don't think we need nearly that much money. I mean, so the last time the board chambers was, was refreshed was 2014 and we upgraded the TriCaster 2019. So there is some talk about, you know, I mean, the, the system works there, but there's some shortcomings. And I did say, you know, we should really get Community TV and Victor involved in this this discussion about, mm -hmm. you know, if we're going to be spending upgrade. money. And, yeah. um, you know, the system there was initially made to be very simple to operate. and But then we've kind of had to um, kludge, yeah, kludge, kludge things, things, things on, on yeah. right? Yeah, so we're, we're looking to redo the... The chambers there, and also the county has a new building, 500 Westridge, you know, the old yeah. West Marine building. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about setting up a facility there in the community room. And I, you know, I was going to suggest maybe libraries. I don't know if the yeah. county can invest. You know, mm -hmm. they're talking about a board meeting in a box. You know. Well, I would love to talk to you guys about that because that's something that we are looking at doing next year is trying to put our equipment in places where, in venues where people can have, hold events and things right. and sort of like bring that content in, yeah. like I was talking about earlier. Yeah. One way to do that, we don't have people coming here to make recordings. So if we can put the gear in the public where they can yeah. record themselves, well, we could be a part of that. Yeah. And that's a different kind of gear, I assume, with a different kind of yeah. budget. Because my question was for local, you know, for local government things or local people, where, you know, somebody like a big football team, yeah, they can do whatever it is they want to do. But if you're like a, a small government agency in a small city, can you afford to play this game? I mean, do you still, can you? make that switch or do you still need CTV in the way they've been using it? Well, a couple things could happen. We could make it affordable. Okay. And, um, or, or we might decide to just do it to get, to uh -huh. get the stuff back. It would depend on the venue and who's using it and what's happening. So we can also put it in a place and people who want to use it just rent it for the day or whatever. Yeah. I mean, there's a lots of ways we can make yeah. it. Yeah, I'd be it interested when you talk in the retreat. Do you know? Yeah, yeah. So these are all good things that we can, you know, talk Go about better. Yeah. Clear, yeah. you know, not maybe not clear up, but certainly yeah. discuss and we work through wanna, some. We want to empower people. We don't want to. We want to make it possible. Yeah, and exactly. I'd, I'd suggest just so it's on our radar screen, put on the uh, low power. TV. Yeah. Just <laughs> no, who knows good. what'll happen. Yeah. No, I'll make it back on to pardon me for chuckling. Yeah. It's it like, never happens. So. But uh, yeah. no, that's good. I mean, that's, that's yeah. something well, we've talked about before and we should. Yeah. Have we abandoned the thought of a another facility? I mean, we look we explored that for a while, mid county. I mean, is it completely off the radar or is it still something we want to entertain? Mm. Well, let's talk about it. There's some pros and cons there for sure. Yeah. Um I had one practical question, which is, do we need to notice this? I mean, we'll have a quorum. How does that yes. work? Mm -hmm. there, there won't be um, just but just but barb retreat, no action items. Yeah. Yeah. But it needs to be noticed. That's what yeah. yeah, since it, it's a will be a quorum. Yeah. Okay. And is there? Do we need things? I mean, we'll. I'll get food, but do you need anything else? You want whiteboards or? Look charts or <laughs> well, whoever has good penmanship is always I'll good to write a few things up. Just kind yeah, of make things maybe a whiteboard, you know. Um, yeah, we have a lot of them. yeah, yeah. You just have it available. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I will I will notice the meeting, which should be soon. Well, you know, one thing in perspective for this, I remember going to a couple of these about around Divka time, and there is a success. We're still here. And so it's always good to look forward, but there is a success. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember one time Joe saying at a meeting, I'm just happy we're staying. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, did you choose the studio for some reason? You know, we have a really nice conference room with two big whiteboards in it that might be easier to use. I, and might be comfortable. That would be fine. That, the no, studio being this building. I mean, no, yeah, I don't think oh, you're specifically. Yeah, I don't know necessarily. It's just this facility. So, yeah, yeah. I think that would make That's perfect sense. conference yeah. room. And then we're really well, need to in. Well, one thing, it. though, if, if it's a notice meeting, who knows if anybody would come? Is there enough room in the new conference room to put a few chairs if somebody were? There is. To... We have couches. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. That would be my only thought. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Ellen, question, you know, I had mentioned before about soliciting input and I noticed in that, um, in the newsletter, there was a, a, a request a call, for, a call for, so I don't know if, if anybody has responded and if so, maybe we can uh, go over those responses at the retreat or? I got one. Okay. <laughs> And just for the fun of it, I'm going to look up and chat GPT because I started playing with it and then I decided I needed to kind of hold my time back. Trends in cable TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See what we get. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe not. Yeah. David's done that. Yeah. <laughs> or do you want to do it? I mean, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, why don't you? I mean, I started to learn how to use it, but if you've been doing it, I think it'd be fascinating see just to it, see. see what he says. Yeah, I mean, use a new tool to see what the new tool says the new world will be, and maybe not any different than this world, unknown. It would be just different names. I learned at the last AI seminar that really the new word for a librarian is a prompt engineer. <laughs> I never guessed what that. a prompt engineer does is when a librarian is always there. Yeah, yeah. I asked her that I can engineer and get to work on time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move along. It, board chair's report, I just kind of did it. It's done. Um, board member of staff requests, in other words, no report. Um, for specific, specific items on the next meeting agenda. So we're going to have our, our policies on there. Um, we're going to have... Um, well, it's time for committee assignments. Yeah, board, committee assignments. And uh, officer election. Then the one word bylaw change. What, yeah, by, mm -hmm. that was... That was that's, keeps it off of Matilda's mind and she can move forward in life. <laughs> <Yeah. the> years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. We'll do that. Yeah, announcements, anyone? And Matilda, you're on. Well, I just had an announcement. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's it's something that happened. Becca and a teacher were on the radio. We did <laughs> oh. an exploring center who's about the podcasters. I heard it. So probably what we should do is send everybody a link. Link. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, please do. Uh, do that. Yeah. Who, who, who's everybody? On the board? Or, oh, or on the news list. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not the world. Okay. Here's do you have the link? Well, it, right now, if you just go to uh, kskd.org forward slash exploring dash center that oh, yeah. you should send it. Send it to the chair. Send it to the chair. Okay. You can send it to me. I can send it to folks. Okay. Well, it's the link. But it has um, um, something link. Actually, you're the producer. You should do that. I can, yeah. I can send the link to, to you. Okay. Because I don't know if I, I can. Can I send an email to everybody? Yeah, sure. I think. Nothing wrong with that. We just going to start a long conversation. Okay. What is the email address? No, I just send it to Geek. Dot com. Shut the key. Geek. Send it. Yeah. 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 All right. Direct and immediate. Yeah. 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 I know it's Reply all. <laughs> <laughs> It was yeah, fun. I, I it was fun. To it. And I edited it down to about 23 minutes. But oh, good. I cut like five minutes. Oh, that's good. Good, good. Short, so, short sounds, good. sounds good. All right. So, yes, yeah. you did a great job. Well, he did. Matilda did a great job. And, and, and the teacher, there. too. The PDU. Yeah, was, yeah, the teacher was, was excellent. Yeah. She was really good. Item number 15, Matilda. I move. Yeah. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Favor? Hi, hi. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Hi. See you Saturday. See you Saturday. Saturday. Are we off air now? Not yet. No. Okay. I just so nobody gets anything. Gives their lottery ticket number out by mistake. <laughs> Still do that, huh?